Hi there. In this lesson, you're going to practice adding rigid bodies and colliders to create puzzle and projectile games with a physics engine. So let's get started. Many game engines and game development libraries include a physics engine. A physics engine is a system that simulates aspects of a physical environment so that game objects can accelerate and decelerate correctly and be affected by collisions, gravity, and other forces. Rigid body components in Unity enable your game objects to act under the control of physics. Rigid bodies can receive forces and torque to make your objects move in a realistic way. Game objects must contain a rigid body component to be influenced by gravity, act under added forces via scripting, or interact with other objects through the physics engine. While the rigid body component applies physics to game objects like gravity, it doesn't stop a game object from falling through other objects. For that, your game objects need a type of collider or a character controller, which has its own built-in capsule collider. Depending on the shape and purpose of your game object, you can choose from a variety of colliders. Box colliders are great for 2D game objects, cubes, and platforms. Sphere colliders are good for spheres, and spherical shaped characters. Capsule colliders are good for oblong game objects. Capsule colliders are also included in character controllers. More on that in a later lesson. Mesh colliders are great for highly detailed game objects that require precise interactions by the player. However, mesh colliders also require a great deal of hardware performance during gameplay and aren't recommended for most game objects. Wheel colliders are a special type of collider used to control the movements of wheels and gears, typically for wheels on a vehicle. Terrain colliders can be used for special terrain surfaces. On the left, you can see a sphere collider that's been added to a sphere rigid body game object. In the ball toss gameplay on the right, the sphere colliders on the balls collide with the box colliders on the pyramid of boxes. The rigid body component on all of these game objects tells Unity how much mass they have and whether or not they should fall to the ground with gravity. This creates a falling box effect when the box are hit by the balls. In this lesson, you'll be using a collision controller C-sharp script that allows you to apply some collision actions to your game objects. If a game object collides with another, you can change the game object's color, destroy a game object tagged as an enemy or collectible, or you can even add an audio clip that plays upon the collision. This script is added to the player game object in your game scene. Now that you know a little more about how rigid bodies and colliders impact game objects, it's your turn to play around with some game physics in Unity.